lift the shoulders up, roll forward, each, knee, sump, chi, roll, up, roll back, each, knee, sump, chi, roll, front, each, knee, sump, chi, roll, back, low, chi, ji, kyo, chuo, hey, from the other side, knee, Sum, chi, go. Hi, elbows straight out the side, make a small circle, five times forward. Each, ni, sum, chi, go. Reverse, so, ji, ji, kyo, chuo, front, each, ni, sum, chi, go. Reverse, so, ji, ji, kyo, chuo, crossing. Fifteen. And arms up. Keep that shoulder level, make a small circle. Forward. And reverse. Front. And reverse. Right cross in, turn the palm up. Fifteen. Hey, from Zen Kutsu Dash. Hey, stepping forward. Again, Bucci. Rising elbow strike. Hey, each. Step back to the shoulder, Bucci. Back elbow strike. Hey, from Awashi and Bucci. Roundhouse elbow. Your pull up, Bucci. Side from Kibras. Side, each. Rising. Knee back, some round, side, each, knee, some, chi, each, knee, some, chi, each, knee, some, chi, each, knee, some, chi, kai, punchy. And left hand out, right hand side. It's it. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Ro. Chi. Ji. Ha. Ji. Chuo. Chuo. Shoulders round. Keep around. Reverse. Eight. Keep that teeth. Head from keep it up. Bend your knees lower. And lower like you're in a huddle. And fist out in front. Now, lift your hip. Lock out your legs. And drop your head towards the floor. Back. Now about halfway in. Okay, now straight. Then push the hip up. And back up. Now, this is line of your toes. Keep straight. Keep forward. Push your hip back. And back up to keep the teeth. Now, left leg lock out. Bring in. Change. 
Thank you. Samchin. Right? Don't let the heel come off the floor, edge of the foot off the floor. Foot flat to the floor. Right? Yitz. Ni. Sam. Chi. Don't lean. Don't do this. Keep straight up and down. Go. Right? Stay. Right? Back toe, front heel should be almost in line. Thighs touching. Right? Back straight. Yitz. Knee, thumb, chi, go. Hey, this time. Foot again in line like four. Now front foot about 45. You come up on the ball of the foot and push hip forward. I knee crash that seek, stance, each knee, thumb, chi, go. Hey. Each 
二、これ引っ張りストレート、三、四、五、はい、で切らし、一、二、三、四、五、なお、ごとこうこうすばし、チャンス、一、二、三、四、五、一発で、一応、一、二。三、四、五、はい、四個出し、first keep it up, see? Then turn toes out, 45. はい、四個出し、you don't see much in Shotokan style, but in Okinawa, this is a prime style. はい。prime stance. はい、very important. 一、二、三、四、五、はい。Move around, move around. はい。Natural stance, it's a tie. Tailbone under. Think of your tailbone here and your navel here. Think of making them touch in the very center of your body. This is called tandem. This is where your body center, the center of gravity, center of balance would be an imaginary point between about three centimeters below your navel. If you find your navel, put three fingers there, it should be the top of your belt. Your belt should represent your body center. So think the belt knot is where your body center would be inside your body. From here, tailbone under. All right, left hand out. Right, double punch, two down, two down. Each. I'm emphasizing moving your hip this way, but not knees. Just hip rotation. Everybody just do this first. Side to side so your belt is going this way. Head looking straight front. Think of like a board. This is a solid board. So when I move my hip, my upper torso will follow. My belt should swing side to side. If you're not swinging up and down, you have a wrong hip motion. Okay, good. All right, left hand out. Two down. Center, two down punch. Halfway between the collarbone and your belt is the solar plexus. Plexus means gathering of nerves. Solar means center. This is the gathering, this is where your ribs come together. You can kind of push here, you kind of get that kind of a queasy feeling if you push it straight in. Very small target, but a very important target, okay? So I think hands punch into that target area. I have to double punch. Each, knee, sum, chi, go, hello, siji, haji, go, cho. Okay, this should be done with almost no shoulder, excess of shoulder movement. All right, bad example. No shoulder. Here I am, I am natural, natural stance. If I allow my shoulder, this is my stance. This is how I move. I always want to be neutral, natural. So my punch, the power of my punch is not my muscle. It's my connection to the floor, to my hip and then transmit it to my upper body. Everybody knows this already, so make it work by reducing unnecessary motion, right? Don't, we, usually in our Western culture, we are very big on big muscles, Schwarzenegger stuff, okay? Big stuff like this, Rocky. That's all good and fine, but if you don't, after a certain age, muscles go away. I know. <laughs> so you didn't have to rely on what your body can do. So don't put emphasis on, if you're only, karate is only good for people with big muscles, then many people cannot practice karate effectively. It's how you take the energy that you have and coordinate in one direction. Right, so try to keep everything working closer together with your body. So now on the punching, normal breath, don't over exhale. Some of you are, <sighs> sound like an engine starting, no. Just normal breath. But from your diaphragm, think of your diaphragm, here, diaphragm is what pulls the air in and forces the air through the lungs. So from here, this is, think of your abdominal area right where your belt would be, it's kind of like the base. So it's like a pump. But not here. Almost like you're pushing, not pushing out, but pushing your belly area down into kind of a, a, ca a cauldron here to catch it with. I'm not doing this, but I'm doing, sinking it into this kind of a catcher's pit, right? So when I exhale, this feeling, okay? Hi. I try. Left hand out, right hand side. 
Right, we don't keep punching double points. Two down, two down. Each, three, 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 go. Rock, Shiji, Haji, Kyo, Cho, Each, Ni, Sam, Chi, Go, Rock, Shiji, Haji, Kyo, Cho. Okay, very good. Hey, our black belts right here. All you got is this line. Quickly, all black belts. All black belts. Spread out a little bit. More, more, more. Oh, you want to turn? Hey, everybody to keep it up. Keep it up, you saddle fast. Hey, come here. Not here. Not here. Ankle, knee, hip should be in the line. Tailbone under, back straight, left hand out. Hey, I will count to ten. Each one count, everyone will punch twice. Right? So I count each. Then I will count ten. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Hey. Now we'll finish the count of 10. Right? So I will begin. Everybody stay on my count. I'll put the new into the wall. Right. Double punch. Each, three, some, chi, go, rock, shiji, haji, go, go, each, three, some, chi, go, rock.
my very first visit to Okinawa, the master, everybody line up. There were 20 of us, almost all black belts, a few brown belts. We had to do what, 2,000 punches. So uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, lost count. Nice. Was interesting though. We were supposed to do it in the Kibirashi stance. So I get the Kibirashi. Oh, ready to go. Sensei comes over and says, no, 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 too wide. Oh, okay. No, too wide. A little bit more. I'm standing up. So that's the Kibirashi. Okay. It's a little easier this way than it is this way. Right. <laughs> Most of us stress. Okay, so a little bit of room. Right. We're going to do four quarter punts, then eight quarter punts. Okay? <coughs> Please try to follow. All right. Think of this is north, south, right. east, west. We start by punching west, then we go east, then we go north, then we go south, and repeat. Okay? So, example, first feeling this way, just rotating my hip. One. Two, then 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 90 degrees, 180, 90, and we finish front. Okay? So I will first time kind of coach you. All right, from here, right hand to your left side towards the mirrors, towards the west. Itch. Now 180 degrees to your right, east. Knee. 90 degrees, left. Huh? Then 180 degrees behind. C. Start over, left 90. East, turn west, turn south, turn north. I okay. All right, one more. Start right side. Itch, knee, thumb, si, go, go, si, di, haji. Okay, again. Itch, knee, thumb, si, go, go. Hi, black belt, someone, what is the point of this training? Hip rotation. Hip rotation, very good. And if you practice unsu kata, this will also help you. Because you're not doing unsu tonight. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Itch, ni, thum, chi. Go, go. Chidi, haji. All right, one more. Itch, ni. Some chi. Go, go. Chi haji. Very good. Hey, okay. All right, left side. Each. 180 to your left. Knee. Front, some chi. Go, go. Chi di, haji. Okay, we start once more. All right, say you. Left side starts. One. Facing east. Now we face west. Now we face north. Now we face south. West, east, south, north. All right, one more. Start left side. All right, Tadari, each, ni, sum, chi, go, ro, chi, ji, haji. All right, try one more. Ni, itch, ni, sam, chi, go, ro, chi, ji, haji. Alright, ready? No counts. Hajime! Hi, okay. Good. Hi, Yemen. Hi. Black belt, stay kind of closer to the front. And go high. Back to see you more. You will do exactly what we just did, but to start out with the right hand. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exactly what we just did. We are not a go angle. Southeast, southwest, northeast, northwest. Okay. Right. Transition. So it will look like this, my back to you. So this will be one, two, three, four. Then angle five, angle six, angle seven, angle eight, and back to center. Right. Stay with me. Right. <laughs> Okay, ready? Right hand to your left, to the west. One. To the east. To the north. To the south. Okay, now we're going to go at this angle. Okay, one. Now, opposite angle. Two. Five, three, 
and corner four. Atayame. Eight again. Each knee. Some chi. Go. Row. Sigi. Haji. Okay, try. No count. Ready? Speed. If you should be, if you are here, you should be over here. Just change. Hi, hi, hi. Now try side each knee, thumb, chi, go, angle, roll, chi, haji, and finish here. Think like a multiple assailants. You are being attacked by a gang. <laughs> okay, so. Right, one more. Right, left side, each, knee, some, chi. Go, go, chi, chi, haji. Last one. Three. is a block, but well, it's much more so than blocking, okay? Also, when you are also uh, sitting, don't not leg out. Don't have your legs up, always legs in. Right? Nishiyama sensei is very explicit about that. Go incorrect, legs out. Legs out. So if I'm walking, <laughs> don't go to fast. Legs always in fast. You don't have to be Cezanne, but you should legs always in. Nishiyama sensei is very particular about that. I know, big stop. <coughs> okay, like this. Okay, so knife hand. Each front hand, you take knife stall. Right, like all blocks, blocks are actually strikes or attacks in some capacity. We call a block because that's our interpretation of uke. Okay. Uke okay means to receive. I'm receiving his punch. So this can be many things. I can hey on Shodan, we come around, and we're one here, then two, maybe we have a counter striking or maybe a secondary punch. Right? The blocks alone don't do the job unless you're trying to destroy the weapon coming at you. All blocks that are power blocks are designed to destroy the arm. If the arm is what's coming at you, it'll destroy the leg if the leg is what's coming at you. But that also creates an option for him to continue his attack. So if he attacks again from here, oh, I have still got several weapons that he can negotiate with. So as we told on Tuesday night, my feeling of self-protection, self-defense, and application is to move in, to move in. So I catch the punch. This is not the block. This is the final strike. All right. Everybody just for a moment, just do what you're saying, just do a knife hand block. See how this hand comes over? This is the block. This is the protection point. So if he attacks me from here, yeah, that's what's happening. That's the first action. So he comes into here, and yeah, I catch. So my first action is not blocking, but destroying, striking right away. Notice that this hand is catching. The hand comes through here as opposed to here, so I'll turn this way. Because the hook, what is the purpose of hook of hook day? Hook day is pull back hand. Okay, yes. It has, it has a practical application in terms of grabbing. All right, so we have a tactical and a technical. All right, technical means I'm using this to make a stronger body. That is some truth to that, but that's not the primary purpose. The purpose is what? Take away one of your weapons. So if he's attacking me from here, and I'm doing this, first that shock here is a, is a fairly penetrating shock. Because I'm hitting across a very sensitive part of the body. The radial nerve runs across the, the uh, radialis, right across it is the radial bone, top side, all the bone here. And these muscles of the forearm are very sensitive. He has a nerve right here. As soon as I hit that nerve, you can feel him going down. If I drop my hand on it, it kind of gets kind of heavy. But if I come up to here, I hit it even more, because his hand will open, his whole body drop down so much. Yes. Right. But if I hit the bicep muscle, the whole arm will loose. So that's very important to catch. But if I'm catching this, I'm coming in just enough to miss. I don't want to send it out here, because this hand is still coming around that, and I've lost my control. I want to pull that weapon into me so I can control that weapon. 
So thinking from here, I'm going to sweep it and catch. Sweep it, catch it. Here, then I turn it over. When I turn it over, now I have him up on his toes. Or I have him down. Very easy to throw without any pain to him. All I need to do, because when his arm comes out here, this is 20, about 10% of his body mass. That means his body center is right here. When the arm comes out, the body center, center of balance has to change. It has to move out. Like somebody who run in high hurdles, when he comes up, he does that hurdle, he throws his leg out and his arm out this way. This magic point we call the tongue in the center of the body is actually outside the body. It actually moves away from the body. So that point is where his balance would be. So when he comes into here, and I do this, take him out, when I pull this, I have some control, but when I rotate it, now, notice how I've taken his balance away. Now, all his weight is going to this leg. This leg, it doesn't go anywhere. He'll want to step with that leg. I can stop that from doing it. Now he can't move that leg. Just at the very pit of the elbow joint, right here, this is the natural bending point. If I hit that, it slightly bends. If I drive that to the floor like sotuke, then by taking him away here, I move his body center more this way towards me. Very easy to control. Just have to take down motion. So I would go into knife hand block, strike, cover, strike to here. And now, this makes it very effective controlling action. Okay? And then if I would go by the first one through here and catch this way, this is kind of a hard angle to hit because if he lifts his elbow up right away, he's got a partial blocking action to me. So if you're finished in some kata like uh, striking into here, like jiin, the kata jiin strikes at this point, so does like uh, uh, jute and so forth. But if I catch it here, then I would simply switch it around and change my stance. So I would be doing something of this nature from here. If I push it over, instead of blocking here, I'll hit the tricep. Then I'll simply move in and catch it knife hand this way. My arm is under control. Then I have this to break. Or I can turn it over, put it on the stomach this way. <laughs> or whichever I wish to do. Okay. Yes. So, please, one more. So our first feeling this time. Move in, but not straight in, not here. Slight angle, once again, because that angle causes shock. If I come straight into here, I still have a strong, he, I keep his body in alignment, and this keeps him strong. Just muscle it out. He's very hard to move here, but if I catch it out here, and make my strike this way, and pull here, then it breaks him down. If I strike here or strike here, I've taken him off center. I take his balance off that way, okay? So also it's safer, because maybe I miss. No, so I get off line in this point, up to here. If I want to make the striking motion in, up to here, and then back, okay? So think of an X this way, right? And I'm in the very center of that X, right here. As he comes in, I have this way is my X. I'm center, and this way is my X. Okay? So if he comes in, I can move forward, and I've now lost, or he's lost total uh, target in front of him. Side, if he tries to punch from here, it's a much weaker punch, and I also can move in. That puts me on the inside. Problem with the inside is I still have to negotiate all his weapons. So if he comes in again to here, I still have this to negotiate, this to negotiate, his head, his shoulders, his teeth, all the things that he could do damage to me with. The advantage is, of course, if I can go to the outside. So if he comes into here, I go outside. Now, this angle, he can't hit me with anything. His left hand is restricted because I have his right hand under control. He can't kick me with his right leg until he shifts his weight to the left. As soon as he shifts his weight, if I just touch his hip, he's lost it. Now, in this lower belt particularly, you might want to play it a little more safely. So now I go back 45 instead of in 45. So I come into here. Now I have a, a knife hand control still with the arm. So here, make my counter. Or the same is true here. Outside of 45. Everybody understand this idea? Okay, okay so training. As Hookie okay, comes in from here, I want you first to do just touch it. Catch it. Catch it. Don't catch it here. It's not a good catch. Okay? 
I want to go viral. I have a, a saying that I use as I teach training. It's called body, body, weapon. Body, body, weapon. When we finish up, it should be body, body, weapon. Not body, weapon, body. I don't want the weapon between us. I want the weapon behind me. Or some capacity behind me. So when he comes into here, and I do this, well, it's body, body, it's body, weapon, body. This is still very dangerous to me. Instead, I want to be body, body, weapon behind. Right? Do we understand this idea? Oh, it's an important point. Think of it in terms of knife. If he had a knife, he's coming at me with a knife from here. Okay, I want to be not just in line where this knife is going to catch me. Right? He comes in again. What I will do is move it away. Body, body, weapons away. Right? If he comes straight in, trust me, from here. Now, I catch here and I catch here. The knife is over here, my body, my body. Right? This is not a threat to me anymore. So my concept here is always one body, body, weapon. Try to finish that in any self-defense world, okay? So any questions on this idea? So training point. Whichever angle you wish to go, that's fine. First thing I want you to do is simply receive. One hand, receive, comes in. One, receive. Two, receive. Three, receive. Four, receive. Five, let me see. Just that drill first. Okay, everybody two by six. Alright, this side, start out attacking five times. And I'm sorry, ten times. First five go inside, second five go outside. I try. You want to suggest advancing? Yeah, okay, watch again. I'm going to leave this part up to you because everybody has a different philosophy. Some don't want to be in, I understand. So my feeling from here, I like to move in because that's my nature. So inside of here, I will move in. Or I will move in. Just pushing this to the side. I don't want to knock it clear away from me. Because right? yeah, I still have something sweet. His, his, his rotor, rotor reaction will take its course. This, and all we're doing now is just making contact. So we're not ending up this way. Just enough to miss. Just enough to miss. The closer I can keep that fist to me, the more control I have on it. Right. If I have to go out here and catch it, the further away my arm goes from my body, the weaker I become. So as he comes into here, inside, I want to be right here, on the inside. Or he comes into here, boom, I'm gonna be here on the outside, in this pattern this way, okay? All right, everyone try. So five times inside, five times outside, then switch it over. Think about action that you're using. Okay, jump, jump in uh, three ways. Okay, what? Maybe we're right here. Hey. Stop just for a moment and start with left hand straight out, right hand cross over. Notice that your fist now is not way up here at the top of your head. It's here where you can feel your shoulder and your muscle connecting here. If I lift this up, my wing muscle becomes weak. That means I cannot use the latissimus dorsi, the muscle under my arm, to give my strength in my arm. I need that connection. Right? I need the muscles to work in, in coordination. So if I come across here and I go too far out, number one, I don't need all that space. Again, another, I have lots of little things. Close is control, space is escape. Hey. If, I have, if I catch you in close, I have control. If I have distant space, that gives you opportunity. Anytime you have a little bit of space to escape, you're going to do it. Right, so I want to keep you tight inside me. So you come in, I want it nice and tight. I want my elbows to be inside. Every time my elbows leave my body, it's weaker, 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 weakest. Stronger, 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 strongest. If I can control your elbow, I can control your whole body. Right? And that's how all takedowns that I work with, all, all controls I work with, things like that, all rely on my ability to get your elbow. 
If I get your elbow, I've got you. So don't let your elbow uh, fly away from your body because then it becomes very vulnerable. Okay? So again, remember, think of underneath your arm. That's a very sensitive area. Right? We don't think about it so much because our arm protects it. The outside of the arm you can slap. No, that hurts so much. The inside, oh, that stings more because it's softer tissue. Right? Same under the arm, it's protected here by your arm. So this is a very sensitive area. If I just touch you here, I can make you dance really nasty. So you want to keep this under control. The only place that's an exception is the palm of the hand. The outside thigh is very effective. The inside thigh, not so much. The outside thigh, I can this from there. I can this, I step in much. Right, from here, if I would do Yoko Kikomi, side thrust kick here, I can damage his leg. But if I do Tiagi, it hurts, but no damage. But on the inside, Tiagi, very nasty. Right? So understanding where your technique's going to be. Right? Same is true here. The inside is soft, the outside is tough, but the only exception is the hand. The back of the hand is very tender, the palm of the hand, nothing. Back of the hand, I will destroy it. Okay? So understand the weaknesses and the strengths of your body. I start again. <laughs> Try to keep it a little bit closer to your body. Instead of staying straight, you're going to bring it. You don't do my hand this way. You do the body this way. So when it comes in, you want to blade your body with a knife. Okay. Let me show you again this. This one. Some of you are doing this pure knife hand. That's fine. But that's not the drill I want you to work on. So we're doing this. In, knife hand. What I want is this hand that comes up. This is how I start my knife. If you were coming that way, I would do this. Okay? But he's coming in this way, I'm going to catch him to the opposite. I'm just going to sweep that hand to the side. That's the block. Right? If I match it block for block, we are on the same time frame. Time frames are movements, like pictures. You, know, you have 24 frames per second in a movie. Well, each of those. On each one of those 24 frames in that fraction of a second, your eye picks up that movement because your eye flickers at the same speed as that movie does, 24 frames per second. So when he comes into here, I catch this motion. As I catch it in here, I, I, I want to keep this time frame to my advantage. If I come into here, boom, we have the same time frame. He punched, I block. Neither one of us are ahead of each other. He throws a second punch to my stomach, oh, our time frame is the same. Now I'm so happy that I caught this punch, I forget about anything else, he throws a punch to my head. Bam! Now he's ahead of me on time frame. Because what do I have to do? I have to recover from the shock before I can go to my next technique. He's already there. So he's ahead of me by time frame. Okay? Everybody understand this idea? So I want to stop that immediately. I want to catch and give myself the advantage of the time frame. I have to, we did the other night, we did uh, Kawashi about to switch in. What I'm doing is taking away his time frame. What we did on Monday night or Tuesday night as he comes in, that's his attack. Right? His attack can have multiple actions. He can do punch, 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 punch. Okay, he's doing two techniques. I have to catch him. He starts that punch. I have to start mine and finish mine before he can do punch, punch. Now, it's not so much that I'm faster because I understand the timing. So as soon as he starts to move, I'm dead. He starts to move, I'm inside. He starts to move, I'm inside. Right? Same is true here. As soon as he moves, I have to stop that time frame. So this hand stops the time frame, this one executes it. So as he comes in, he doesn't have a chance for a second technique. Because I've already caught the first technique, and I struck him before this one's even completed and finished. I already hit him, so now he has to play catch up. Assuming that my strike here was significant enough to cause him shock, I'm not going to wait for him to get back online. I'm going to finish it. All right, so understand the time frame. That's why we move in versus move back. If he comes into here, we move back. Right? Same time frame. All right? 
Every time he does something, if I can match it, that's fine, but eventually he will beat me. Eventually he will overpower me because I don't know where he's going. I'm, oh, he's gonna do a punch in my face, ah, punch in my stomach, now I'm done. So whatever attack is coming first, right? And when you're doing this, two, two, two theories, your choice. Look at, just stand up. Between his eyes and his shoulder blades, if you look at a triangle here, when I first start combat with him, I will look at this triangle here to here. Because any movement he makes will be indicated by some shoulder action. If he goes to kick, watch his shoulder. His shoulder moves first. Even with a kick. Anything, if you punch, obviously. Now, once we're in combat, then I change my view from here to here, is to, to now from here to here. This area, okay? Why? Because in combat, I, will, I do not want to focus on, a, on an object that's not going to damage me. I want to catch the first motion. Boom! He comes in. Now he continues his punching motion from here. Now I'll watch from here because any movement his body makes will be perceived in that triangle between his shoulder blades and his sternum. Right? Kind of this V, if you will. So I have a V this way and a V this way or a diamond. Make sense? Okay. And that will help you pick up like motion. That way I don't have to think, oh, is he going to punch, is he going to kick, what's he going to do? Don't care about what he does. This is only an instrument. This is the source. I want to destroy the source. I right? knock out the source, I don't have to worry about the tool. Mm -hmm. okay? As soon as he moves, up, up there's the source. I take it out. Notice I'm inside. Where can he go from here? Not very far. Okay? And, and even if he does hit me the same time, you know, I know my shock is going to be probably greater simply because I, I am already inside with it, so I can <laughs> and follow up. This is just training. Okay, so once again, try this shooting instead of knife hand. One, just sweep it in. I like stepping in, sweep it in. In, sweep it in. What I want to work to, we're going to capture. Okay, we're going to capture it from here. Hold on. Once I catch it from here, I've got some control. Now i got a range. But I'm also on where? Outside or inside? I'm on the outside. So I break his rib. All right? Break his rib, destroy the rib, down, follow through. That's what we're going to build into in this technique. Okay? okay. All right, let's go. Just catch that hand before we run. Okay, try to avoid. How you how I apply this as he comes in. Instead of doing the knife hand block this way, which is exactly what we want to go with, now we're going to simply capture the hand. But I'm going to do this. Everybody knows how to do a gate X block. Right? Like you see the cut boom, boom. Okay, when you are doing this way here, I roll it over, I'm catching like a hand goes on. Hey on number five. And you'll see this in many other cut. But it's kind of a misnomer because I say you see X block for kicking. Right, and this is not the problem is that the timing's off. It's a representation of movement, but the timing's off. We would come in my gare. If I would do that, he is probably gonna break both my wrists. His leg is very fast, he's very strong, uh, and his leg, his shin bone is much stronger than my hands will ever be. I tie right, boxers would come up to trees and they kick trees with my mm -hmm. shin bone. It's very tough. So I break, instead of doing one more, well, how many blocks are here? How many blocks? Well, if he comes overhead, strike, like he's coming down with a hammer fist to my head, there's one. Okay, he does a hook punch. There's two. Mm. He does a left jab hooking punch. There's three. He does an uppercut. There's four. Mm. I have four corners here. I have four blocks. Okay? So thinking of how I want that to work, I'm going to catch that kick 
not this way because it will destroy me, but instead I will catch this, then hit. Okay? And this can be very devastating to the right target area. Because this number what? No, I'm not going to get head comes in. This is what I'm doing. Right? As I'm doing that, I'm catching. If I would catch this foot, I'll just demonstrate because this is kind of painful. I have to do that. Look at see the uh, malleolus bone? Malleolus bone, I go one fist to that bone right here. You have two nerves called the saphenous nerve. I just simply have to touch that nerve. <laughs> now when he puts that foot down, he's going to feel it even more. He started doing this. <laughs> but if I would hit that, and you come into here, and I'm catching this, this feeling, I would come into here, one, in, and hit. This idea. Or if I catch it higher up, in, hit. Right? Or if I have a nasty grab, in, and hit. Okay? This is Jujin. So, you're kind of doing kind of a Jujin Yuki action here. So, as he's coming in this time, let me go back and punch it. From here, sweep it in. Okay? I'm going to sweep it and catch it. My hands are going to actually cross. Here, here. Turn and grip. Look at the hand. It's like an hourglass. Wide, narrow, wide. Right here where it's narrow. So spend your hand back, see that crease? Or turn your palm up this way, see the crease? That's the narrowest part of your wrist. That's where your wrist connects to your forearm. If I catch my hand this way and I come across, I use my thumb, my middle finger, I will simply slide down until that's the narrowest part. Because when, how I know the narrowest part? Because as soon as it starts to get thicker, I'm at the narrowest part. I come across here, there it is. As soon as I take the slack out of it, what's it do to his arm? Pulls him out and pulls him forward. Now I have 10% of his body mass away from his body. So as he comes into here, I will catch and I bring it down. Almost like I want to put it in my pocket. I have the best control here. So inside. That pulls him over. Right? From this point, now I have a good control. I can coil, roundhouse, front kick, side kick, thrust kick. Back kick, whatever you want to do. We're going to work on Yoko Kiyagi, side snap kick. Right? It's not a killing kick, but it's a set you up. So here's the drill. One, catching over to here. This point, I'm going to draw up. Squeeze in. Squeeze, snap. What I'm doing is hitting his floating rib. The floating rib is attached by his ball socket at the spinal area. Very easy to bend that in or to cause it to snap away from the spinal area where it's controlled by the vertebrae. In doing so, especially on this particular side, it can damage the liver, break off because now it's like it's a sharp bone because it's a floating rib that's not connected to the sternum, or back here disconnected the kidney. Very dangerous if you don't control it. Okay? But in Okinawa, you would never do that. Okinawa kicks never went higher than the waist. So I would hit what's called the peroneal nerve, the femoral nerve, which is right here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Every time I show up, you think of it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Inside the hair, but that takes out a leg out. And I have that shot back there. Okay? So, slowly, this will be, oh, I'll do all different directions. One, I'm going to knock this over to here. This time I'm going to step out, catch this. Bring it in. Now I need to estimate about what's the length of my leg. That knee is going to go out. 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 Yoko Kiyagi. Yoko Kiyagi. Okay? I can do the same thing, opposite side. From here, bring it in, same. Kick in, and then change some maybe a different kick. But it's a train in the Chiriwasa, kick it. Okay? So, watch again, this angle. Okay, as he comes in, catch, here, side. Comes in again, side. Okay, this way. Yeah, catch, side kick, Yoko Kiyage, side. Okay? Wait. Let's try that. Very good, thank you. Thank you. the dynamics of that? Yep. It's all for it. It's all that excellent. I want to So far, stay in front of you. Hold me first. I I'll 
The first action will be hit. Once that goes off, you don't want to keep watching my head. Yes, very much so. Right? Because if you start to move, as soon as you go, boom, pick you up. Right, boom, boom, pick you up. Boom, boom, I'll pick you up. Okay, so that puts, even though you started, you say, what, well, you hit first. No, you came at me first, but you didn't see it. Right? Yeah, that's kind of a thing there as well. So there's kind of a fine line here of what you're going to be doing. But once that happens, I don't want to keep my head right to here. I want to kind of protect my head. Now, this is not for self-defense. It's not for any proper copy of yeah, I want to bring my team down, but I want to watch here now. Because now I can see so all the weapons. So this is now the fight stuff. Now, now you go over here. Now I go here to here. Right. So now once this fight is on the field. Once you move on me, we go from here okay. down to here. So that's, that's what I did. Yeah. Because yeah. now, now if you watch this area from here to here, from here, from my, from my shoulder to shoulder, to my stern. This is my stern. I start my punch. Yeah. Okay. But when you slightly bend your leg, are you not coming out of the line? Yeah, you still want this to be strong. Right, but what you will do here, you, you, you drop a little bit. This is okay. Just don't do this. Because now your head's out of alignment. I can be out of alignment. I, I can do this. You still be in alignment. If I do this, I'm no longer in alignment. Even if you were doing like a ground fight, like you did so on the ground, you want your spine and your head to be the give you stability. Exactly. Because you still have a balance even right. when you're on the ground. Because if I go on the ground, the first thing I do is turn your head to the side. And you're done. You're dead. Yeah, once your head goes, the body goes. Right. That's what you can't do anything else. Okay, I'm ready. He does attack. Right? And he's doing a, a, a suicidal lunge punch. This could be a hooking punch to my head, it could be any number of things, but for training, most of you are familiar with a, with a straight punch with Oitsuki. Remember, Oitsuki, our lunge punch, that is our flagship for Shoulder Mountain Karate. Right? No other system of karate practices a step in punch like we do. We, if you're taking your first examination, what do you do first? You do lunge punch, lunge punch, lunge punch. Right? You take an examination for Nidon when it comes in, when it comes free fire, but still the lunge punch. Because that's our flagship punch. Why do we see it more? Because it's very difficult to make speed out of that. It's hard to move lots of speed. So if you get good speed down, uh, it is a, a, a tremendous opportunity to cause a tremendous shock. Uh, if you ever check, uh, if you ever want to get on YouTube, check Naka, N A K A, Naka Sensei. He's got one of the fastest lunge punches ever that I've seen. No one ever seen faster than Rishi Sensei, who's no longer in the turf circuit. But it's, 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 Phenomenal at that time too, but that moves. That means I'm moving 185 pounds forward at, at a speed that's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 miles per hour. So when you hit, you've got a tremendous amount of shock force coming in. Right? That's why the technique is so good. But on the streets, you don't see that because people don't train that way. They don't understand the technique. So instead, you see this hooking punch. That's the most common as well on the street. So, but for keeping training purposes, we're here for karate. We're keeping kind of our basic. So he does a lunch punch to move your stepping punch. Step in. This is feeding, okay? I'm going to turn it more this way so we can, so we can see what I'm going to do. So as he comes into here, here's a really catch. Now, I've got my arm. Here's where most of you are going to have some trouble. You might be a little bit too close to trying to kick you kind of like this, or you're too far away and you're going to miss You've got to have that what we call kinesthetic sense to lengthen your leg. How long is my leg? Okay, it's this long. I need to know that. But that's practice, okay? That's good. So as it comes into here, one, catch, pull this in, now I have balance. Now I made kind of a catcher's unit in here. So when I hit that rib coming up, it's going to be effective. After I strike it, then I'm going to come in, but I'm going to transfer this hand over now. Because I don't want to do this. Because now I uh, okay, that's a fast beat hand. You don't want to do that. Okay, come in again. So inside the here, one, catch, side kick, I transfer it over. I just put my hand up, and then I'm going to use elbow strike. To the very same hot place I kicked. So he's taking two shots, one with my foot, one with my elbow, that same spot. This will make his body very sore. Okay, so. Want to catch? Side. Catch. Kiyage. <laughs> elbow strike. I still have control of the arm. Now remember, I told you about here, the elbow bends. Just push the elbow. And you want to do this. <laughs> Hear that? That's the sound of air escaping. <laughs> and also, very painful for him. If I would do this, that's very painful. Hey! Eh? That's not even wrong. Don't be! The high ground, Okay. High ground? Hey, I'm 
Hayal goes on. Now, when Hayal goes on, you, you see this motion? You jump in the air and come down. The jumper says, I'm throwing him. He ends up down, I come down, and catch him. Actually, what happens is he goes on. Once he goes down, I come into here. My next feeling is this. From here to here. Don't be rude. Say something. I choke. <coughs> okay. We have many chokes in Shadaki, but you don't see them. Techie Shodan has a very quick choke right away. We'll talk about that later. So, round. Right, one, ten. Right. 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 Catch, kick, shit. Double. Oh. Right. Now, if I want him to stand up, I just pull it up here, but we're not going to do that part yet. We'll get into that in a few moments. Okay? But just through here. This point. Right? You see, I'm, I'm back, back in my knee. Back in my knee, you're going to be here. I don't want to be out here, because he can do the same thing to me. Okay? All I need to do here. You just pop my leg. Okay, at this point, pop my leg. Okay? All right, let's try. Catch. Yoko Kiyari. Shift in Kibirazi. Empty your chin. This is like your basic striking kata or basic examination. Fight. Okay? Stop at that point. Okay, thank you. All right, every other one. Let's do a party with Thank you. Switch 
traditional Okinawan style karate kata. They are not even Funakoshi kata, they are from Asai Sensei. Asai Sensei was a student of Nakayama and, Nish and Funakoshi Sensei. Uh, and Nishiyama, it was, it was Nakayama, Nishiyama, Asai, Kanazawa. That was kind of a pecking order at that particular time. This is back in 1948, 49, 50, and so forth. Funakoshi Sensei died, I think it was 53 or 50, 57. 1957. So Nakayama Sensei became chief instructor. Well, Nakayama Sensei died in 1984. And so Asai Sensei became chief instructor. Now Asai, his wife is Chinese, his brother-in-law is a Kung Fu or Chuan Fa master over in Taiwan area of China. So he went to China for 10 years. Well, first he became head of the JKA. And then that time he made many visits and he spent about 10 years training in Chinese Chuan Fa or Kung Fu, if you will. So he developed these kata. He developed something like 25 different kata. And we are taking those and kind of incorporating them. JK, to, some members of JK will practice them. I mean, Naka Sensei and so forth, they will do general katas. Some are very traditional, so they will not. But Kagawa Sensei, who was just an excellent karate man, Yahara Sensei, who was just dangerous as all get out, they're all following the Asai Sensei training program, which is Asai, even though Asai Sensei died several years ago, his kata still lives on. So I have adapted those copies. They're required for my instructor, for my students to train for examination time. They must do hey, and whatever kata they must perform under JKA rules, they must also perform the, the junior kata. Shodan, junior shodan, junior nidan, sandan, yandan, and mudan. Then they have a series of other kata, about 20 other kata that he developed. But they are very unique kata. What I like about them is that they're very, first, at least the first three are very symmetrical. What you do one side and exactly the opposite side. It's very, very even all the way through and you train both sides. But also what's unique is that how many reverse punch actions do you see in the hands? None. None. All step in punch, not the reverse punch. But what technique do we practice more than anything else? Kind of reverse punch, okay? And we don't practice Nikolai Shidashi until you're about a brown belt or first non black belt. I'm learning some of the kata from that stance. He put those in right away. Plus then you are spinning and turning. You're learning how to use balance and rotating the body. This is very effective because it's all about how you work your hips and learning how to relax your body. So that's why I like these kata because they are, like I say, very symmetrical, but they train us in areas that we normally don't have a lot of training in until you get to maybe a shodan or nidan level, which I think is kind of wrong. Because you need to learn as much as you can and practice over and over, over the same place. So everybody, those, those who sort of know it, sort of know it, sort of know it, <laughs> okay. I'm going to put you at that far later, so they can kind of watch you, okay? Everybody kind of spread around a little bit. Now understand, Kohai, junior students, 
I do your students that need to go back up, go to Dante. This is not a requirement for you. This is kind of extra. Since I'm here, it's an extra training opportunity. It's not a requirement for you. At least at this point, I don't think it is. So uh, again, once you learn it, it it's, it's kind of like, OK, I've got uh, a little extra something here I can work with that will help me, but it's not a requirement that I have to get very, very good at. But once you start practicing these, you'll find that you're going to like them. You will enjoy them. They're very easy to show whole guy application. Do a little short. OK, we'll try to finish this in about 10 minutes' time, because I know everybody has to be leaving here shortly. All right, I'm going to do it first, my back to you, and I'll do it front, and then we'll follow up. It's just the first uh, six movements, or actually eight movements, if you will. So from here, general Shodan, and I start out with Kibadatsi, then I come up to a natural stance, then I'm going to punch or back fist from here, and I'm going to spin, turn, down the block, counter punch. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing this side. Okay, I'll do a high block, punch, spin, block, counter punch. Okay, so I'm going to walk, everybody walk through that with me. Okay. So, first action from here, says Antai, natural stance. You're going to step out left leg into Kibadatsi stance to get Amurai downward sweep. Looking to your left. Right, from here. Now, just come back to a natural stance and do a high inside block. Good day, okay. High inside block. Now, this is, can be a straight punch or it can be a hammer fist strike. I prefer hammer fist strike because it has more power to it as you come out. So I'm going to step into an inline forward stance and do a hammer fist right from there. Now I'm going to pivot on my left foot. I'm going to complete all the way around to a downward block on my right and counter punch. Okay, let's do that again. Because so you're going to repeat exactly the same performance. Now from your right side. So what you're doing what? You're going to do it right exactly the same way. All right, so once again, I'm going here, Chibadatsi, then high block, then hammer fist as I step into a pretty much inline forward stance. Then I'm going to spin to my right, all the way around, double block from here, then counter reverse punch. Okay, so if you watch what's going on here, I am everybody up. What I'm, what I'm thinking of here, and this is caught application right now. This is not self-defense. I have a self-defense form for this, but I don't want to confuse you with so many new ideas. He is kicking my stomach, punching my head. Right? Kicking, my, kicking my, chip, my, my side, if you will, and punching my head. That's his attack. One, two. Boom, boom. Okay? So I'm going to meet that with not a shock resistance, but a redirection of the technique. One, I'm redirecting. But the punch is going to be there right away. So if he punches right from here, Look where I'm at. Not good. So instead, I come up. It gives me that extra saving space. Okay? And I'm going to cover that with a Yuki inside block. So as it comes in, one, two. Then right through here, I step in, hammer fist. Now, I've also seen it done straight punch. I find the hammer fist to be more efficient. Then he starts to punch this hand. I knock the hand out, come in, lock, and counter punch. This is the application. It, again, it's, it's bunkai, it's not uh, oyo. Bunkai means application like one time sparring. We both know our roles. Oyo means it's self defense and anything can go, which we're not doing. Okay? So, let's put that together. Are you ready? All right, keep it up, see? Get on the right. Then just do a natural stand up stance inside block, then to an inline forward stance, hammer fist. That's to a, basically a chest, neck level. Now I'm going to spin to my right, off my left, do a downward block, counter reverse punch. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my right. Keep it on your stance. Then I'm going to come up, inside block, hammer fist strike. Now I'll spin to my left, downward block, counter punch. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so it, knee, some, chi, go, roll, chi, haji, kyo, go. Now I'm going to go same pattern as hand number one, 90 degrees to my left, facing the showman front wall, downward block. One. Go from here. Now I'm going to come back to cat stance, inside block. Two. Then I'm going to step from inside block or inside cat stance back to a forward stance counter punch. Now I repeat exactly the same thing with my right side. Downward block, inside block cat stance, then counter punch. 
And then at the end of kata when you ki on a rising block or step in punch for the left on hey on, I'm gonna do a left leg, step forward, right hand reverse punch. Hey! Hey! Okay, now like a kata, I'm gonna do a three-quarter turn, and I'm gonna do what we call a, a, a hammer fist block. In the back stance is a hammer fist block. Then I go from back stance to cat stance, then step into a counter punch. And I'm gonna step forward into a counter punch. Now I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing to my left side. Back stance, hammer fist block. And by the way, this is an extremely powerful block. This will break an arm or a shoulder. Sotoki, outside block, cat stance, counter punch. Step in, counter punch. All right, start over again. So you can see, you're basically just repeating right side, left side, right side, left side. And it's basically the same pattern as Heian Shoda, but without the angles at the end. Okay? So, like this is Junro Shodan, J U N R O Shodan. Right? By my count. Ich, Kibrachi, Ni, natural stance, high inside block, then inline, hammer fist punch, turn, downward block, forward stance, counter punch. Alright, repeat the right side, Kibrachi. Two, high inside block, inside, almost inline now. And a punch, a hammer fist, turn, downward block, downward punch. Now, you're going to go 90 degrees to your left, downward block. Right. Now, shift back into cat stance, inside block, and then finalize punch. Downward block, inside cat stance, counter punch, step in, left, hey, hey, counter punch. Okay, now from here, do a three quarter turn, you do a hammer fist block. A very powerful block. This is back stance. Okay. Then come into a cat stance, and then counter punch to a forward stance. Step in forward stance. Repeat exactly the same thing to your left. Left leg forward and back stance. Hammer fist. All right. So for what is the blocking action? Power block. Outside block. So okay. Counter block. Counter reverse punch. Step in counter punch. Okay, so one more time. I think it's a minute. Hi, Jumro Shonan. Jumro Shonan. Yich. Ni. Sam. Chi. Go. Ro. Kibirachi. Ji. Aji. Kyo. Go. Okay, now from here, it should be forward stand. Just 90 degrees, and from counter punch, draw, do a downward block, and as you step, a lot. Okay, now you're going to sit to do a cat stance, inside, counter punch. Downward block, cat stance, counter punch, step in, counter punch. Very really good. All right, now three quarter turn, hammer fist block. Cat stance, counter punch, step in, left leg, counter punch. Left side. Kukutu, back stance, hammer fist block, cat stance, counter punch. Step in, counter punch. Okay, now you're going to step towards the door, right leg, downward block, 90 degrees. So you're going to go here, and you should be like so. One. Now you're going to go into a cat stance, rising block. From here, do a front snap kick from cat stance, and come back to cat stance. Back to cat stance, then step in, counter punch. Step forward, downward block. Step back, right leg block. Cat stance. Front kick, front leg to cat stance. Step in, counter punch. Then step forward, counter punch. <laughs> now, like the other, you do a three quarter turn. Bring your left leg up so your feet are almost parallel. Turn to a knife hand block. Should be a back stance, knife hand block. Now your right hand does a fingertip thrust as you shift from back stance to an inline forward stance. Okay, everybody, I'll, I'll do the finger thrust if you don't see me. So you should all be right here, right now, this way. Back stance, knife hand block. Now I just shift to a forward stance without changing my feet. Just inline forward stance and do fingertip thrust and then lunge punch. Okay, repeat the same thing, left side. I'm sorry, it was not knife hand block, it's inside block. My mistake. Inside block, I think it's something else. All right, from inside box, go back stance. Now do nukte, and then step in punch. Ah! 
I'm in the MA. So what I'm doing here, so when I turn, he's punching the one from here, inside block, then I'm attacking his throat. This causes him to do what? Move away. Okay, so from here, I'm moving back, chasing and punch. Do the same thing to here, he comes in, I cover, look at that, right to the throat. Palm down, look at that, not this way, this way. In, then step in, punch. So the only two step in, punching action for you. Okay, everything else is reverse punch. Okay, let's try a couple more times. Do something kind of, this is a, a training cut. Right, this is not a research cut down or a requirement cut down, at least not for your growth uh, But it's a good one to practice with, give you a new city. Uh, a variety of different techniques plus understanding how to spin and keep balance. Hey, to know Shalom, I tell you, by my count. Each, me, some, she, go. Hello, Siji, Haji, Jo, Jo. Each, me, inside, some, punch. She, go, hello, Siji, in. Quarter turn, knee, hammer fist, knee, outside block, cast stance, some counter punch, T, step in, counter punch, hey, hey, hey. go, hammer fist block, soto uke, from Nikolash cat stance, Nyakuke, facing back, get up right, hey, now, the rising block, from Nikolash cat stance, one, one day, step, counter punch. Two, get on right. I get up, I got it, jump skip. Step in, jump skip. Now step up, pivot, three quarter. Now, back stand, clear with the inside block. Right. I made a mistake, it's inside block. Now, I'm going to go through. Now, shift forward. Luke Pate, punch. And Luke Pate is falling down. This is more effective. And turn, side block, back stance, knee, to the take, stop. And then you may, and back up. Look at it this way. If he drops his chin down, I can't get it. This is basic, this is, you see, look at it in the kata. That's not what's taking place. But we won't do that right now. So you see, I'll do this before, let me see. Drop your chin. Can't get in. I can get in. Okay, this way. Not this way. And if he's got a really tight big chin, flip his nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Ready? Hey! Hey! Juno Shrub! Juno Shrub! Why my count? Hit! Knee! Some! Chi! Go! You repeat. Hello! Kudrachi, Chiji, natural stance, Aji, Kyo, Kyo. Hey, now towards me, Ich, you don't die. Knee, inside block, cast stance, some counter punch, Chi, Kyo, cast stance, rope, forward stance, counter punch, Chiji. Good, now three quarter turn, Ich, hammer fist block, Knee, Outside block, cast stance, some forward stance, counter punch, chi, step in forward, I repeat, each, left side, knee, cast stance, some counter punch, chi, step in, counter punch, I right leg forward, facing the back wall, get on the right, I cast stance, rising block, front kick, come back to cat stance, then counter punch, step forward, downward block, cast stance, front kick, cat stance, Counter punch. Step in, counter punch. Hey, hey, hey. I step left leg up so it's even with right leg to a three quarter turn. Inside block, cat back stance. Nukate to the throat and lunge punch. To your right. Back. I'm oh, sorry, to your left. I'm listening. To your left. All right. Two, jab, three, step in. Yame. Ready to fight yourself? Hey. Let's try. Ready? Hey, turn around, shut up. Turn around, shut up. Hey, hey, hey. Don't rush. 
준비! Okay. Uh, a couple of points to make sure you remember. Uh, uh, here. Then, when you go to uh, I get right, a rising rock, here. You go. Kick, come back to here. Yes. Don't kick and step in. Two moves. Yes, One. Might get it here. Then, step. Say, in, catch it from here. Kick back to here. Then, and then when you come across back to here, one, koko to dashi, zenko to dashi. Here, zenko to, that way I can reach it. Okay, so he is here. Punch it this way. Can't reach. Reach. In line, right now from back stance, here, forward stance. This gives you the back, then punch. Okay. Some of these ideas, uh, and everybody knows exactly what we did. It's just a matter of you know, kind of put it together a little bit. Uh, but keep uh, practicing always basics. Now, it's fun to do some wild stuff like we did tonight, but always back to basics. Right? Things like posture. 
good posture, good connection to the body, right? breathing, all these things that your sensei is giving to you. Please listen and, and, and try all that as you practice. And if you can, try to practice every day. Even maybe you wait 10 minutes. And maybe on Sunday you don't know to come to the dojo. Just go someplace by yourself for 10 minutes. Do you cut that okay? Or just practice. Just much. You don't need lots of time, but you need consistent time. Yes. Um, last time you were here, you shared your, your punching routine every day. Mm -hmm. right, well, could you remind us about that one? Okay. I start out uh, 50 punches. Double punches from natural stance, okay? And then I do 50 this drill. And I do 50 this drill. Then I punch from Kibidatsi uh, 300 times, okay? And then I do uh, from one step, from uh, Zenko Sadashi, Jab Kanda punch 50 times each. And uh, the last set, I, I do 50, then I do 10 more at full speed. I don't do full speed each time, I will die. <laughs> uh, then I do. Uh, each block, the Amarai, counter punch 10 times each side, Sotoki 10 times, Leoki 10 times, Agiyuki 10 times, knife hand 10 times. Then the drill hits knife, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I do that 10 times each side. Nice. Yeah, that's, that, that's the punch. Then I do all the Juno Kata. I do each Juno Kata one time, and then I hit the Makawara. And I hit it 20 times each hand, and I do 20 kicks each leg, front kicks, 20 times each hand, uh, 20 side kicks each leg. 20 times each hand, 20 round hops each leg, 20 times each hand, then I do all the hay I comes. Then I go back 10 times, or 20 times punchy, uh, back kick 10 times, then 20 times, then uh, punch it again, then no kick, kick only side thrust kick 20 times, then, then punch it, then back kick 20 times, then I do uh, go to shiho sho, go to shiho dai, so chin, ninja shiho, uh, hangetsu, wasai dai, kaku dai, and bijo. Oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's one hour. Sometimes one hour and ten minutes when I'm having a slow day. <laughs> but yeah, I do that. Usually, I try to get that in four times a week. Sometimes it's only three times. My schedule sometimes. Yeah. Yes? Do you take any breaks between your sets? Sorry? Do you take any breaks between your sets? Uh, no. No, I don't take any. No, no. I, I, I will stop and wipe perspiration out of my eye, but I don't think. I have a dojo bill on my house. You think? Yeah, I have a dojo about, about half the size of this dojo. Wait, do you faint at the end of it? Do I faint? <laughs> no! <laughs> but I pace myself. I don't go full speed. I'm 70 years old. I can't go back. I can't go young like you. I'm old. So I have to, I have to, uh, to go. Can we get one more picture tonight? Because we got different people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good. So, last time you said, you know, you can tell We'll rank someone just by the way they breathe, they move. Much. By the way they control their body. So what would you say to says like a general, like what the dojo like needs to work on? No, I, I think not everything, everybody looks good. But always remember, like tonight training was fun because it was a kind of, you know, exotic. You know, kick, 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 sweep, you down, relax, break. No, that's fun. But always back to basics. When I train, those are all basics. I, I'll stand right in here. I will do this before I start. I will check myself out more than Oh, that didn't feel good. I have a mirror on my chin. Oh, no, my chin's down. I, I, I'm self-correcting always. Oh, that's not good. <coughs> oh, okay, that didn't feel good. Oh, that feels good. That's how I feel. But I, I always back to basics. Remember, advanced techniques are just good basics, better basics. You know, more advanced basics. You know, you can do lots of fancy stuff like you, you see, but it comes back to this, what you want. But my, I'm, I'm always training for Combat. I don't train for any sport. My students don't train for sport. We, train, we teach combat. Yeah, and everything I do has, has results in me defeating an opponent. So, and I, all my points are I always move in. Always move in. Unless if I move back, it's only because I'm creating a technique I'm going to use at that moment. Uh, but I, I always work on posture. To me, it's very important. I, I notice when I have a, a, a mannequin that I punch, and when I have a Makiwara set up that I punch. And when I sit, I have a mirror right there, so I punch and I look, oh, my chin's down. So, oh, head up. <clears throat> and then I start to feel what I need to feel. You have to be very self-critical, but you have to know what you're looking for. Uh, and that's the key point. And the more you train, they just come to you. Uh, listen to what, uh, what your sensations are telling you. you know, to me, posture is so important. 
And even if you're on your ground, posture is so important. The head and the, and the spine have to be in alignment. As soon as that goes out of alignment, then you're destroyed. Right? You have no power left. It's amazing how that works. If you're taking jujitsu, uh, the same thing's on the ground. You have to line up. As soon as I, if I want to control you on the ground, I just move your head. And I have to put a lot of control in that way. So be self-critical, but allow yourself to be sloppy once in a while, too. Yeah, I trained some days, like two of those four, four or five times, I trained pretty, pretty vigorous with it. I just, wow, I really come in. And after that, I'm just kind of going through the motions, but I'm not putting heavy force behind it. You know, you know uh, like I say, at my age, I don't have to be So And my endurance, of course, goes because of age. Sometimes precise, sometimes, like, you want to destroy this. Guy. Yeah, sometimes, you know, well, for example, here, just, just very quick, I'm trying to hold you for that. I know that the whole time is pretty. Okay, well, I'm not going to lie. If I'm in one of those moods, it's like, BAM! Okay. BAM! Okay. BAM! Okay. Then sometimes it's just, BAM! You know, so just, just feel it. But, you know, for the coach, you punch, you say, you punch 300 times a day. No, it's just 300. That's not a lot. Because when I, my routine, I end up almost, uh, almost a thousand punches. I mean, I haven't worked out. Which is okay, but I, they're not max blasts each one. The last hand I do set up. I'll do 20 of this hand, you know, 20 of this hand, and then I'll, do, I'll say 50 counter punches, jab counter punch. I'll do 50, then the last hand, bam, bam, full blast. And then say I'll do a kick, 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 20, 20, 20, then the last five, I'll do maybe 25 more after that, full blast into the counter punch. But that's not a good in kata, sometimes I run to the kata, sometimes I really take my time to kata. So it just you vary. But I train at least five times a week. You know, and you know, that's what you do. Other questions? Yes? No. Okay, well, thank you for allowing me to be in and join and working with you. I always have a good time coming down here. Uh, it's usually the third week of March that I come in, somewhere around that green celebration day or whatever it is. So, uh, you know, sure not ready for that. <laughs> okay, ready. Yeah, next time I, I won't be so nice. Us. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, we're going to go. Do you like sushi, Sensei? Sorry? Do you like sushi? Do you eat sushi? Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to Thin Sushi across the street. So are they right still now? open? Yeah, they're open until Wait, right now? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you're not. You sure you're open until Okay. <laughs> so we'll go across the street to Ben Sushi if you want to come and uh, yeah. show off your Okay, good. Okay. Right. Thank you, Sensei. Get a picture real quick. Oh, yes, a picture. Everybody. Little Ben Fran. Maybe you're going to have a little fire. Maybe you're going to have a little fire. I like Gojushi Ho. Yes. And I like Sochi. Taller than you. Gojushi Ho Show, Gojushi Ho Dai, and Hangetsu. I'm taller. Yeah, come on. Carly, come in. Get in the way. Yeah, yeah. Get the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. Hi, little. There you go. Okay. How about this, this group? Maybe just kneel down a little bit. Kneel down good. a little bit there. Catch everybody so everybody's face is in. Very good. All right. All right. I need to get one on my phone. Quick, like a bunny, so I can post it quicker. Snapshot. If not, I have to wait for Sean, and we don't know how long that could take. What? Next year. Oh, smart. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much.